The burger needs no introduction and I want to show you an easy way to make a great burger with a little added touch of homemade sweet pickles. So let's have a look shall we? Now don't get me wrong, I do love a big juicy medium rare burger with onions and garlic and herbs and all kinds of tasty things but this way is so easy and simple and gives a great result and all you need is ground beef and salt and pepper. If you can get hold of a good 20% fat ground chuck then that will be your best bet. All you have to do is roll your meat into balls that are just a bit bigger than an egg and give them a good smash with something flat and solid like this cast iron skillet. Make sure you hammer them nice and thin, that way they'll cook evenly and they won't be tough even when cooked through. Okay, set them aside for now while we take a look at my classic burger toppings. Pickles! Making them yourself is easy and strangely satisfying. All you need is a few mini cucumbers, some sugar, some vinegar and about a quarter of an onion finely sliced. So grab your baby cucumbers and chop them up as neatly as you can. This is a great opportunity to practice your knife skills. I accept no liability for loss of limb. Heavily salt them and leave them in the fridge for about an hour or two. This is going to help them stay crunchy. You can skip this part but just be sure to put a couple of pinches of salt in the pickling liquid. Once the two hours is up give them a good rinse and boil together equal parts sugar and apple cider vinegar. I've added a few cloves and you can even add mustard seeds or any other spices if you want to be fancy. As soon as it boils, turn the heat off and dump in the cucumbers, onions and a little bit of turmeric. They'll be best once the flavours have developed for a day or two, but you can eat them straight away. And they'll last, well, forever. That is the point of pickling. Right, that's the hardest jobs out of the way. Now there is only one way to slice a tomato and that is from the base to the core. Don't stand it up on its base and cut across the core. That's the telltale mark of an amateur chef and it's important to at least look like we know what we're doing. When it comes to lettuce, iceberg is the king of crunch. You can just give it the old kebab shop rough chop but cooking is all about looking like you know what you're doing. So let me show you how the pros do it. Tear off the wilted old dirty outer leaves, cut it into quarters and chop out the core. Separate the denser leaves in the middle from the larger looser outer ones. Then you can cut those in two sections and it'll be much easier to get nice fine slices. The only problem with iceberg is they are used usually enormous and if you're looking for a way to use up the rest then look out for my video on petit pois à la française. Now I don't like to admit it but I do secretly love the gooey sticky texture of processed cheese on a burger but given the choice I will always opt for an extra mature cheddar. Here's a quick recipe for burger sauce. Mayo, ketchup, finely diced shallots and a few of those sweet pickles you just made. Combine all ingredients and stir. Bacon makes everything better but I don't like it crispy. It's got to be thick cut and still a bit chewy. So there's my chosen burger toppings. Other toppings are available so do whatever you want. Bones. Make them yourself or buy them, whatever you're into. Now we just have to put it all together. Season your patties well with salt and pepper and sear them on a high heat to get a nice crispy crust. In the meantime you can toast those buns and hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button. Thumbs up button. Flip your burgers after a minute or two. If you look closely, you can see the grey areas here where I was a naughty boy and didn't get a good sear. So quickly cover that up with a nice pile of cheese, pop that under the grill, and then we're almost ready to start stacking. Bun, sauce, lettuce, tomato. Don't forget to season it. Burger, bacon. Oh no, I forgot the pickles. Do it again. Bun, sauce, lettuce, tomato. Don't forget to season it. Pickles, burger, bacon. Now watch these insane skills. I used a tomato to hold the lettuce onto the bun. Let's see that again, shall we? The tomato is acting as a safety belt, restraining the lettuce and keeping it securely affixed to the bun. Yes, I'm a Jedi. And there you have it, one terrific burger that'll satisfy any hangover. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe for more culinary delights. Thanks for watching.